All right, guys, I just got some not too kinky 35 pound from my friend. This is titanium, um, nickel titanium leader. So uh, there's some benefits to this stuff, okay? It's got, for one thing, a very low tendency to kink. So you can bend it and you can loop it and all kinds of stuff. You can, you can pinch it and it won't, it won't keep that bend in it, which is different from stainless wire which uh, if you just did basically a 90 degree bend in it, it would retain that and it would be a weak point from that point forward. But you don't get the same thing with uh, titanium wire. So uh, I'm gonna be tying my hooks on with a perfection loop. That's kind of my take on this whole rig. I know other guys on YouTube have shown themselves doing a clinch knot. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that just because it doesn't give the bait the freedom of movement. That I think it needs to stay alive longer. So I'm gonna be putting that on uh, 4 0 live bait gamakatsu for the lead hook, and then the stinger is gonna be going on to a uh, 2 0 VMC inline single hook. So uh, this stuff is knotable. I believe some people know how to, there's some YouTube videos of people crimping and stuff. Um, I just like using as little material as possible, I'm pretty cheap, so um, I'm going to be using a loop knot. So let's get that out of the way. Pull about 7 inches of tag, form a loop going behind the main portion of the wire there. Then onto that tag end, you're going to slip your hook. So, hook onto your tag end, uh, tag end around the loop that you just made. So now you've got two loops, your first loop and your second loop. Your tag end goes right between the both of them and pinch it between your thumb and your finger. Okay? Then you take your hook, pass it right through that first loop. And you're going to want to start pulling the main portion of the wire to make that loop a little smaller, but not so small that it won't slip over the first loop. And then you just, oops, don't lose your tag end. Now you start just pulling the main portion of the wire and slip it over that second loop. At this point, I like to take a pliers, and while you're pinching everything, give your tag in a couple good tugs before you start cinching the entire thing down. So it helps to put this onto the handle of your pliers or something, and then give it some constant pressure, and keep cinching down. There we go. And there we go. That does take quite a bit of pressure to get this thing to cinch. I usually like to go until the metal starts to stretch. And there we go. So knot's gonna look kind of crappy. If you're used to tying this with mono, you know it cinches down on itself real tight. But the wire won't do that. But it also won't slip. So you can give it a little. You can give it a little more on the tag end if you want that to be a little smaller. But right there, that's about as good as it gets. I haven't had it slip on me yet. And when you cut your tag, you're going to want to leave a little bit just in case there is any slippage. So maybe I'll leave about a half a centimeter or so. So right 
there. Not that much tag will serve you well. And then we'll do the same on the other end with the 150 pound black swivel. Don't use silver, whatever you do. Because if you use a silver swivel, there's a chance that, oh no, a barracuda, and they might cut it. They might go after the swivel instead of your bait. So, same process. Make your loop. There we go. Get your swivel onto the tag end of that. Pass your tag around to make a second loop. And then pass your tag end between the two loops. And so we'll go through the first loop. Oops. Trying not to lose your tag end. And then start pulling everything tight. There we go. Remember it helps to pull the tag end tight early on. And then use the pliers to pull your swivel. Helps to wear gloves when you're doing this too, so you don't cut your hands. Give it some heat. And there's the finished loop knot. Right there. So once again, it's not going to cinch completely on itself like mono would, but it also won't slip like mono would. And click your tag end, leaving about uh, a couple millimeters or so. Maybe a centimeter. There we go. And there it is. And I like to store this. Oops. My magnetic tripod there. I like to store it by just wrapping it a couple times. passing your swivel end through to keep it all together, like so. And then for your stinger, uh, I'm going to be using some 40 pound uh, titanium more that I have extra of, just because I don't have a whole lot of 35. Right there, I've got my maybe about 12 inches of that to work with. So, same process. Form your loop. Hook onto the tag end. And yeah, a little more. There we go. Tag end goes around the loop and behind it. Pinch everything down, pass your tag end between the two loops, pinch it. Oof, this is hard. The thicker the wire, the harder it gets. This is 40. Okay, and then hook goes through the first loop. Oh, but don't lose that tag end. And then you start. Ooh, this is rough. Pull everything through and it'll start to take shape. Remember to cinch that tag end down early on. And then 
and start giving it pressure. There we go. So, the bigger the wire gets, the sloppier it looks too. But that's basically it right there. And on the other end, we're just gonna make it an empty perfection loop. So just loop. Second loop. Tag in between the two. And this is where it helps to have your other hook. You're gonna get the point in there so you can pull this loop through that one. So let's see if we can get this. You gotta try to do it without stabbing yourself too. There we go. So get that onto the bend of your hook. Keep your tie again pinched. And then start cinching your knot down. Nice and slow. This is the hard one to cinch down. Oops. Hold on one second. I need one more tool for this. So you can get your loop into the nose of your the tip of your pliers there. Then get your hook. I like to use like a Anything with a handle on it that you can get your hook on. Get your hook through that. And then really cinch down on this to get it nice and snug. Alright. Pull that nice and tight. There you go. Helps to go until the titanium stretches a little. And there you go. There's a loop that'll go over your lead hook. So let's clip these tag ends off and I'll show you. Actually, I gotta get this, uh, get this tag end cinched a little more. That's better. Oh, this tag again needs to get cinched a little more too. That looks a lot better. Remember to leave a little bit of tag in case it slips. And there. Then I'll just take a little piece of plastic. I like using the packaging the hooks come in. little strip of that, this will help keep the stinger from slipping off your main hook. So 
So we'll slide the loop right over the point of your lead hook. And then get that piece of plastic on after that. Boom. It's right there. Now that's captive. It won't go anywhere. Yeah, that's the rig right there.